Did you know that most vitamins on the market today are made from petroleum, coal tar, and genetically modified corn syrup? Yeah, I know, it's scary, but it's the truth. And in today's video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between synthetic vitamins and whole food concentrates. Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So let's start out by asking the questions, if I'm eating a really good diet, do I really need to supplement with vitamins and supplements? Well, the answer is yes. Today's food supply is not like it used to be. So 100 years ago, we had much different soil, we had different farming methods, and the demands for everyday life were not quite the same as they are today. In today's world, we have a lot of chemicals and toxins in our environment, we have genetically modified foods, and the soils are depleted. So it's very difficult to get everything that you need directly from your food. So it is essential that we supplement our diet with vitamins and supplements made from food rather than chemicals. So how do we do that? Well, there are basically two different types of supplements on the market. There are more than that, but the two main ones are synthetic and whole food concentrates. Let's start with synthetic because that's the vast majority of all supplements that are out there today. About 95% of what you will find on the market today is made from synthetic ingredients, meaning these are isolated chemicals made from the things that I mentioned before, petroleum, coal tar, and genetically modified corn. Now, why do companies make it from these compo compounds? I'm not exactly sure, but I suppose that it's probably very inexpensive to do it this way um, because making it from food is a whole other undertaking. So that's probably the reason. But in any case, when you take things like this, it acts more like a drug in your body than like a nutrient because nutrients are basically from food. They're not from chemicals. So they might have an effect on your body and cause things to change and maybe even suppress your symptoms. However, they're not actual nutrition. Only food is nutrition. That brings us to the second type that's the whole food supplements or concentrates. These are actually literally made from food. So how do you know the difference between synthetic and whole food? Well, the main thing is to look at the label. Take a look and see what ingredients are listed. If you see these really long chemical compound names, then you know it's most likely a synthetic vitamin. But if the label reads one food listed after the next, then you know that's a whole food concentrate. So what do we use in our clinic? We use a company called Standard Process. This is the oldest and largest supplement company. Uh, it's been around since 1929. They have an amazing track record. Many practitioners have used them for years and still do. So I have seen the difference between using synthetic and whole food concentrates in my clinic personally. I used to use synthetic before. I had no idea that there was a difference uh, until a few years ago. And I'm very glad that I made the switch because of the results that I've seen in my patients and in my own life have been very dramatic. So I'm very glad that I found them. So that's what we use. What about you? What do you use for your own supplements? Where do you get them from? What companies to use? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious to know what you guys use. So that's basically the difference. Synthetic vitamins are made from chemicals and like the nasty ones that I mentioned to you. Uh, and then whole food concentrates are from food basically. Standard Process in particular has an organic farm out in Wisconsin where they grow their own vegetables and, and other things for their supplements. So another question I get asked is, well, what about the amounts? Because people notice that in synthetic vitamins, there's these large amounts listed of each vitamin and then they come and see our product and see, oh, well, it's only a tiny bit of this and a tiny bit of that. Well, that's because when you're taking it as a synthetic com compound, your body doesn't necessarily know how to use it in the right way and in the same way as a whole food concentrate. So you kind of need a lot more of the amount for your body to utilize some of it. And then with the whole food concentrates, it's a smaller amount, but it's more bioavailable and it exists in a complex because in mother nature, the vitamins exist as a whole complex, not just one particular part. Let me give you an example. So when you get a bottle of vitamin C, you're gonna see on there, it says ascorbic acid. Well, ascorbic acid is only part of the vitamin C complex. The entire complex has other things in it besides just ascorbic acid. So really, that's one of the reasons why I say 
the complexes are, are superior to the chemical isolates. So that's a good example because a lot of people are taking vitamin C and they think that ascorbic acid is vitamin C, but it's actually not. So that's just another example to give you. In any case, I hope this was helpful and you understand the difference now between synthetic and whole food vitamins. Again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to our page and we will keep you up to date with the latest in natural health. And also if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them below and I will answer them for you. Hope to see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.